Today we're going to be talking about different line types. The first type of line is a straight line. A straight line has no curves or bends in it. A horizontal line goes from side to side. A vertical line goes from top to bottom or bottom to top. And a diagonal line is at an angle. The next type of line is a curvy line. A curvy line has bends in it, but not sharp edges. A wavy line is curved like curvy, but has little points on it and looks like water. People often call curvy lines wavy, and that's okay. Next, we're going to be talking about thick and thin lines. Thick lines are really wide and look bold. Thin lines are really tiny, skinny, and are harder to see. I'm making my thin line by barely touching my paper. One really fun line to draw is a loopy line. You just go loop de loop de loop up and down and over the line. A scalloped line is a lot like a wavy line, but upside down. A dotted line is just a series of dots in a row next to each other. A dashed line is just a series of little lines next to each other, like the middle of a road. Zigzag lines are maybe one of the most famous types of lines, and they go up and down and make points on the bottom and the top. Spiral lines go around and around like a shell to a snail or an S. Scribbly lines are exactly what they sound like. They just scribble around and around and go any direction that they wanna go. Now that I have you thinking about lines, I want you to realize that you use lines in your artwork all the time. Every time you draw with a pencil, you are creating lines. Anytime you make stripes or rainbows, those are made out of lines. Lines are in all of our artwork and you use them all the time. In this artwork, I'm really thinking about using different types of lines. Variety makes artwork really interesting. Whatever you choose to make today, Think about the lines that you use. How are they making your artwork interesting, colorful? How is it giving it texture? Lines are just everywhere and they show up in your art. Here's some art that I made. Look at how I used lines throughout the picture, in the roof, in the ground. In this one, I really took advantage of curved lines to make everything look really weird and different. Every curve gives a feeling. This is the painting I did earlier, all different types of lines. How are you gonna use lines today?